We know that the reason we have fume hoods in our lab is to protect us from hazardous procedures in fumes. But are we really safe? There are reasons why you might have safe working conditions, and there are reasons why you may not. This is why we have the basic do's and don'ts of how to use a fume hood. Don't ever put your head in the fume chamber. You will be breathing harmful fumes and contaminants. Always reach in through the sash opening. Always keep the sash at a lowered operating position and closed when not in use. Explosions, procedure splashes, or sprays will hit the inside of the sash rather than the user. In this simulated explosion, with the sash fully open, you can see debris and particles hit the user's hands, face, and chest. Keeping the sash lowered is far safer. If this confetti were flames, chemicals, and shattered glass, he would be seriously injured. Do not use the fume hood as a storage cabinet. Not only does it take up valuable work area, but more importantly, bottles, flasks, and other equipment blocks the baffle slots and airflow across the work surface. Always raise your equipment off of the work surface to ensure air can flow all the way to the back baffles. Always remember to conduct work six inches back from the sash. This keeps fumes being generated away from the sash opening in the user's breathing zone. Don't block the rear baffle in the fume chamber or tape formulations or notes on the front of the baffle, potentially covering the baffle slots and disrupting airflow. Do not use the front airfoil as a holding shelf to set flasks, beakers, or bottles on. They can easily be knocked off, spilt, and broken, thus creating yet another safety issue. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Additionally, the glassware or plasticware leaves rings on the airfoil that corrodes over time. Always check the airflow monitor or alarm before using the hood. This is not a guarantee that you'll have fume containment, but you will be able to tell that the exhaust system is running and what the face velocity is reading. If the hood alarm is sounding, don't just ignore it by muting it. This could mean your hood isn't performing correctly. Always tell your lab manager or maintenance personnel. Do not reach into the fume chamber and pull your arm out fast. Fast movement can pull air out of the fume chamber, as can user traffic in front of the hood. Always move slowly in and around the hood and be cognizant of other air movement such as ceiling diffusers, fans, and open doors. And lastly, always be geared up, including safety glasses, lab coat, and possibly gloves should there be an accident, explosion, or spill. Just remember, safety is no accident. By practicing standard safety protocols and applying common sense, you'll be doing your part for a safe laboratory experience.